Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So today's video is going to be my review on the new Too Faced Candy Johnson I Want Candy collaboration. So this collection was released a few days ago. My video is going up a day or two after it actually hits Ulta stores and I apologized. Ideally, I would like to give this review up before it was available for sale, but I wanted to actually try out all of the products in the collection for a few days before I went ahead and gave you guys my full review because personally, my first impressions always change whether it's for the better or for the worst so I don't like to do a whole lot of first impressions on my channel so I definitely put all of these products to the test and I can give you my honest review as to whether or not I think you should buy them or you should skip them. Now I did recently feature the eyeshadow palette in an anti-haul video because I personally wasn't planning on buying it. I thought that the colors look similar to other colors that Too Faced had already done so if you guys want to hear more about that I'll link that anti-haul in the description box below but Too Faced actually sent me the collection which was really kind of them. I was not expecting it. Sometimes they send me PR sometimes they don't and I opened up my door the one day and I had the entire collection so I thought I would go ahead and review it for you this video wasn't required by them it's not sponsored but it was kind of them to send it my way so I can actually test out the products and share my opinions with you guys and let you know whether or not I would recommend buying them so let's jump into it I definitely have pros and cons to all of the products there are some that I really like and some that I wouldn't really recommend so I hope you guys enjoy this video okay let's start with the eyeshadow palette so this is the I want candy limited edition candy scented eyeshadow palette. The box of course is really beautiful. All of the packaging in this entire collection is very cute. It's very pink and gold. It's very Too Faced and Candy Johnson which I think is a fun touch. I think nice packaging is definitely a plus but I honestly mainly want to focus on the quality of the products. So the box shows you all of the colors that you're going to be getting as well as the names and then when you open it up you get this little Too Faced I Want Candy Beauty Recipes pamphlet. So this just comes with three different mini tutorials including you know a full eye look on Candy Johnson which I think is a cute little touch especially if you're brand new to makeup then that might be something helpful to have in your palette so here's what the palette looks like it comes in this little tin box which is really cute it looks similar to the actual packaging of the box but it has a little sticker of Candy Johnson on it that says 2017 this is a sticker so you just lift it up to open up the palette and then on the back it has some little chocolates and the names of all of the shadows inside when you open up the palette, it does not come with a mirror. Just keep that in mind. I personally don't usually reach for you know, the mirror inside my palettes, but some of you might be interested in that, so I just wanted to kind of include that information. And then it has this little piece of paper that you can actually remove. It just says, Too Faced, I Want Candy. So the palette comes with 12 shadows up top, a mix of shimmer, matte, and metallic, and then on the bottom you get three larger, lighter shades. Two of them are matte, one is more of a shimmer. Candy Johnson, in her video, actually said the three lighter shades were meant for mixing. I do like these bottom shades. This one is more yellow toned, this one's more pink toned, and then this one is very shimmery and beautiful. I love using this one as an inner corner highlight and then these two are great as brow bone highlights or I just kind of use them to set my eyeshadow primer. So this palette comes with six metallic or shimmer shadows and nine matte shadows and I have to say the matte shadow formula is my favorite. They're very blendable, very pigmented, very smooth and I feel like blendability is something that's so important to me when it comes to my matte shadows. These matte shadows are so easy to work with. If you are a beginner or even if you just really want pigmented, blendable, shadows this is going to be a great option for you because they go on the eyes so easily and so beautifully especially in the crease or as a transition color and I appreciate that they only take a few seconds to blend out and you'll have a completely seamless look when you dip your brush into them, you are going to get a little bit of powder kick up, so just keep that in mind. It's nothing too crazy, but it is a little bit more than you would get in the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palettes. So I think there are two shimmers in this palette. You get whipped cream down here, which is so beautiful. It's perfect as an inner corner highlight or under the brow bone. And then you also get sparkling cider up here. The other four, in my opinion, are more of a metallic finish, and I feel like the shimmers are good quality. They're beautiful, blendable, smooth, but the metallics are a little bit, they're not as good as the mattes or the shimmers. They are not the worst formula that I've ever tried, but they're also not the best, and they're not the best Too Faced metallic shadow formula that I've personally tried. I feel like they're a little bit, um, I was going to say glittery and gritty. They're a little bit gritty because they do have a little bit of glitter in them, so when you actually touch your finger into them, they feel smooth and they feel soft, but at the same time, they feel a little bit gritty. So I feel like they do not apply well with a brush at all. You really get hardly any color payoff when you just put your dry brush into them. And some people don't use a dry brush with metallic 
shadows. I feel like it is ideal to wet your brush, but I also wanted to share that because some people don't like to wet their brush. With these shadows, I honestly just can't go in with a dry brush, and even a wet brush isn't super ideal. I feel like I have to use my finger to pack the color onto the eyes. So I do get pretty good color payoff when I use my finger. It's not the absolute best or the most metallic or beautiful, but it is, you know, better than going in with a dry brush. I don't experience a lot of fallout when I put them on the eyes, which is definitely a plus. So I feel like they're pretty for everyday wear. If I'm going for like a super glittery intense eye, these aren't the shadows that I would reach for in terms of the metallic shades. But if you want just a nice sheer, almost wash of color that's a little bit more glittery, a little bit more shimmery, then these might be a great option for you. So overall, I will say I was pleasantly surprised by the quality of this palette. I think as a whole, the palette is really beautiful. It's very blendable. It's very seamless. You can get a lot of different eyeshadow looks out of this palette using all different colors. It is kind of broken up into different quads, so you can use these four shades to create a look, these four shades to create a look, so that definitely helps, especially if you're a beginner or you get a little bit overwhelmed when you get a new eyeshadow palette. I feel like it's set up very nicely. If you want more of a cool toned palette, you might really enjoy this. There are a lot of gorgeous colors in here, and I've been able to create a lot of fun eyeshadow looks using this palette, and I think it's kind of fun because you can get more of a natural look, or you can also kind of make it a little bit more fun with a metallic shadow, or you can make it a little bit more dark and dramatic with the dark brown and the black in the palette. I think that the $45 price tag is a little bit intimidating in my opinion. I would have brought it down a few dollars, maybe like $39, $40, and then I would say it's worth that price. $45, I mean, it's only a couple dollars more, but for me, I feel like that is a little bit expensive for the actual palette that you're getting. But if you like Candy Johnson, you like Too Faced, you like limited edition products, or the colors in this palette appeal to you, I do think it's worth spending the money on it. I think that four out of the 15 shadows, the metallic shadows are okay, but they're not unusable. They're still really pretty on the eyes. They're just not the most intensely pigmented metallic, you know, shadow formula that I've tried, but 11 out of 15 of them are very beautiful, very blendable, very high quality in my opinion. So I do think it is a good palette. If I broke it, I would go out and buy it again tomorrow because I feel like it's so, so easy to use and it's great for everyday wear. Okay guys, sorry, my camera died. So I hope everything kind of looks the same. While I was switching the battery, I decided I had to get some of the hair out of my face. So I just kind of clipped it out of the way. But anyways, moving on to the rest of the collection. The next product is the Banana Pudding Brightening Face Powder. So this is an interesting product. I'm constantly trying new face powders. So I was a little bit curious about this one because I've been a big fan of pressed powders lately. This one is supposed to be a translucent banana scented pudding powder, and it's supposed to give you a blurred photoshopped finish, which is really interesting. It kind of has like color correcting properties to it. When you open it up, it is a yellow toned powder, and then it has like blue and pink and purple kind of specks mixed in. It's supposed to smell like banana pudding, and it does have a very slight, almost faint banana scent. I don't think it's anything too overwhelming or overpowering, so if you don't like the scent of bananas, I don't think it's necessarily going to bother you. I cannot smell it once it's on the face at all, and it's very, very faint. I forgot to mention the eyeshadow palette does smell a little bit like cocoa. I mean, it's not, again, super overpowering. It's not like the Too Faced chocolate bar palettes where you open them and you get an instant, I guess, scent. It kind of smells like vanilla and cocoa mixed together, but again, it's not anything too overpowering. So they do say it's supposed to be a translucent powder, but I would say it definitely has a pretty strong yellow undertone to it. So I don't really find it to be translucent. I find that it is a brightening powder. I'll just do, like I did three swatches so you can kind of see it on my hand. It definitely brightens up the under eye area or wherever you decide to apply it. And I feel like it kind of has that yellow color correcting property to it. So a lot of people like to use a yellow face powder under their eyes or yellow powder under their eyes to kind of combat dark circles or, you know, just kind of brighten up the under eye area. So I think that this powder is good. I think when I apply it under my eyes, it definitely helps to brighten up the under eye area. I make sure to use a beauty blender because if I go in with a brush, it's too subtle. It doesn't really do anything, you know, 
anything more than any other setting powder in my opinion. But if I take a beauty blender and kind of pack it on under my eyes, it definitely brightens and highlights, but it's very subtle and it does give you kind of a blurred finish. My problem with this product is that I don't think it is a universal product. I do not think it's going to work well on every single skin tone. I think if you have very strong pink undertones, this product is going to be way too yellow for you. It's just going to clash with your skin tone, with your foundation, with your concealer. I think if you have a yellow undertone or a neutral undertone, it's going to be a little bit more ideal for you. I do have yellow undertones in my skin and I feel like even still, this product can be a little bit too yellow for me. But it does depend on application method. If you go in with a light hand and a brush, you're going to get more of a diffused, soft look than if you go in with a sponge. But if you go in with a light hand and a brush, it doesn't really do a whole lot. So I feel like to get the full effects of the product, you do have to go in with a sponge or more of a dense brush to pick up a good amount of the product and really pack it underneath the eyes. I think there are so many setting powders on the market that this one isn't unique enough to kind of set itself apart for the price tag. I think if it was a drugstore price, I would recommend grabbing it and trying it out for sure, but it's a little bit more expensive. So I think the packaging is beautiful. The scent is kind of a fun touch. The product itself is good, but I don't think, you know, it's a run out and buy this right away kind of product. The next product I want to talk about is the Black Licorice Liquid Eyeliner. So this is a liquid liner. It's supposed to be smudge proof, long wearing, and budge proof. And I will say it is all of those things. This product is really interesting because I'm a big fan of brush tip liners or felt tip liners. I love a good liquid liner pen, but this brush itself is really different than any of the other eyeliner brushes that I've tried. I do think it is a really unique brush that works extremely well if you're trying to get a perfect winged eyeliner look. I really struggle in the winged liner department. You guys might know that if you've been around my channel for a while. I just can't ever seem to get it right. The wing never, ever, ever looks good on the first try. And the first time I used this, I started using it and I was like, I don't think I like it. I don't want to keep using it and I was like no I have to test it out and then I got to my wing and I got my wing right on the first try I was honestly like blown away because that never happens for me but the way that this brush is designed it makes doing your winged liner so quick and easy it's kind of like a foam tipped liner brush and it's slanted but it's also very flexible but at the same time it gives you enough um, it's sturdy enough when you're doing your eyeliner that it's not going to bend and make a mess so when you start doing your liner from like the inner corner all the way to the outer corner it gives you a really precise application I will say this product is very very pigmented and it's a very like it picks up a ton of products so you really have to kind of scrape off any excess and you honestly just need to dip it in once to do your winged liner on both eyes so I feel like that is a plus because in my opinion it's going to last for a pretty long time because it's flexible when you turn it it kind of bends at the perfect angle to give you just the most beautiful perfect wing and it it looks flawless, it stays in place, it works extremely well. So I will tell you guys, this is one product that I loved in the collection and I would absolutely recommend. I will say I think this product kind of has a learning curve to it and I think the more I practice, the more I'll get the hang of it and I'm really, really going to enjoy it. But I just think that this liner is a must have in your collection. If you are a fan of liquid liners and winged liner, I think you're really going to enjoy this. The only cons that I can really think of is that it is so ultra pigmented and you do pick up so much product on the brush so it might be kind of easy to make a mess on your eye if you're not careful you just have to make sure to scrape off any excess product before you go in and do your winged liner but otherwise you know I think once you get the hang of using it you're going to fall in love with it and the actual line stays in place it's budge proof it's smudge proof I have really watery oily eyelids and it stayed in place on me all day long so I really really enjoy this product I think that this is one of the best products from the collection the next product is the candy glow luminizer so this product is very beautiful and I can see it being really popular it is an ultra glowing highlighting stick it smells like cotton candy this is probably one of the strongest smelling products from the collection I personally think it has a nice scent but it's very strong it's very vanilla very candy like so just kind of keep that in mind again I can't smell any of these products once they're on my actual face but this one does have a very strong scent 
If you've been around my channel for a while, you might know that I'm not big into cream highlights, cream contours, and cream blushes. I have very oily skin, so it's just kind of my personal preference to go in with powder products because I feel like they last a little bit better on my skin. But I will say this product was very easy to use. I feel like when I was watching Candy's video, she said it's actually a cream to powder finish, and I feel like that's definitely true. It is a very, very lightweight cream, and it's very blendable and smooth. So if you are intimidated by cream products, I can see you enjoying this product because it is very easy to use. The color itself is gorgeous. It's a little bit unique, I think, and I have a lot of highlighters in my collection because, again, I've been on a highlighter kick. It kind of has this silvery pink luminescence to it that I don't really have in a lot of my other highlighters, and I feel like it could be flattering on so many skin tones. This is what it looks like blended out. You can obviously intensify it if you add a lot more of the product, and it is buildable, which is nice. It's just so, so smooth. It's not sticky. It's not tacky. I think it is a good product. I personally don't know if it's going to become a staple in my collection because as much as I like the color, the liquid or the cream formula is still a little bit hard for me to use. I just... I haven't used cream products enough to really get the hang of them to incorporate them into my daily makeup routine. But if you are a cream product fan, I definitely think that this product might be a must have for you. Okay, I'm finishing up with the Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipsticks. They created four really gorgeous shades to include as part of Candy's collection. Too Faced does have an entire permanent collection of the Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks, and I have one. I have the shade Child Star. I'm wearing it today. I actually wear this in a lot of my videos. It's one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. It's such a beautiful color, but I do like the formula. They dry down. They're very, very, very matte. So if you do not like matte liquid lipsticks, you're not going to like these. They are one of the most matte formulas that I've tried, and they're also one of the most lightweight. I enjoy them because they're not transfer proof. They stay in place all day long. I don't have any trouble with it bleeding, with it smudging, with it budging, and I really enjoy it, but I will say they're very dry. So, you know, if you don't like dry liquid lipsticks, you're not going to like this formula, but if you don't mind a little bit of dryness because you get that longevity, then they might work well for you. So like I said, they have four different shades. The first one's in the shade Melted Ice Cream, and Candy actually designed this one to be paired with other liquid lipsticks. You can use it on its own, but I feel like it's going to be a little bit too light for a lot of skin tones. If you have a very, very fair skin tone, it might be your perfect nude, but I think for a lot of people, it's going to work more so as a highlight. So you can apply any lipstick or any liquid lipstick and just kind of put this in the center for that really beautiful highlighted effect. And this color is really pretty. These do have a strong scent as well. They smell like vanilla cupcakes and I really, really like the scent, but I know not everybody is a fan of scented products. Their original melted matte lipsticks don't have that same scent, so I think it's kind of a fun touch that these do. And the packaging is a little bit different. The original ones come with a gold top and these have like the color of the lipstick on top with a little bit of a cute design. So they're a little different than the originals. The next shade is in the color Freshly Baked, which is a really beautiful medium toned pink. This might be a great option for you for an everyday color or if you have a light skin tone, more of a dark dramatic color or even like a good pink nude if you have a deeper skin tone. Then they have two really fun bright colors. The first one is in the shade Tropical Punch and it is a bright cool toned fuchsia which I think is really fun and the last one is in the color sweet and sour this one's actually one of my favorites I think it will be so beautiful with just like minimal eye makeup winged liner and this color and I just I can't wait to wear it that way. I love all four colors they created. Like I said, you guys know I already like the original formula, so you know this formula works really well for me, and the colors are really beautiful. So I am a fan of these. I think you just have to be careful because like I said, they're very drying, and if you're not a fan of matte liquid lipsticks, you're not going to enjoy them. But if you do like liquid lipsticks, I think any of these colors would be a great option. Okay guys, so that is about it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions at all, make sure to let me know in the comments below. If I only could choose one product from this entire line to buy, Hmm. I think I personally would go with the eyeliner. Winged eyeliner is something that I like to do on most days and I think that this eyeliner is so unique and so interesting and it really does make doing your winged liners so quick and easy. So I think that this is my absolute favorite from the entire collection, which kind of surprised me that I said that because there are a lot of great options. My second favorite would probably be the lipsticks because I really enjoy that liquid lipstick formula and I think all of the colors are really beautiful. And my third favorite would be the eyeshadow palette. I think it's a 
good option. The shadows are beautiful. They're blendable. The metallics need, you know, a little bit of help, but I do think it is a good eyeshadow palette. But huge congratulations to Candy Johnson. I think she is beautiful. She radiates positivity and love and light, and I think she's an amazing person, at least what I know of her here on YouTube, and I'm sure she's the same in real life, and I am genuinely happy for her. I love that they collaborated with such an amazing person. I think she created some beautiful products. While they might not all be for me, it doesn't mean that they're terrible products by any means, and I think they did a really good job on this collection. The products are high quality, and some of them are very unique and interesting. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you let me know in the comments below if you're going to be grabbing any of these products, because I would love to hear from you, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.